Good morning. Welcome to Torah for Women's Mountain Moments. This is the Prepper Portions and I'm Judith Garten. Coffee's hot. Pour yourself a cup, have a seat, and let's get started. I've got a lot to do today because we had a great day at Kroger's on Friday. I wanted to share with you our haul that we got. It's amazing. Um, this is a perfect time to bring up how this particular module of the prepper portions will even fit into our prayer lessons for the prayer journal, the Torah for Women prayer journals. Before we go shopping, we always pray. We pray for great provision from Yahweh over our grocery store haul, believe it or not, and we always get blessed. Some of the things you won't see today, we were um, in the meat department and what we normally get for uh, one package of chicken thighs. We get four meals out of one pack of chicken thighs. It's the big pack. We usually get four meals for the two of us. Well, they had on sale chicken legs this time and for $2 less than what I usually pay for the chicken thighs, we got an excellent deal and we ended up with seven meals out of just those two packs of chicken legs. So that's a great haul. And in addition, we got some awesome lettuce. We've been getting tired of spinach. <laughs> we eat a lot of spinach salad. The dark greens are really good for you. Um, and normally we don't purchase the big packages like these. You'll see here, let me get them a little closer for you. Um, because they're usually $5 a package here. So when I saw them on sale for $2.49 a piece, that's like two for one. So we went ahead and bought them. Now there was a little bit of slime <laughs> in the bottom. So I tried to get all of that out. There's a couple pieces I still have to get out, but you'll notice if you take a quick look, let me see if I can bring it up here closer to the camera. You see what I did here? I cut holes Friday because I knew that we wouldn't be eating these right away, right away, allowing for more airflow through the package. Now, this does unfortunately make these not quite so great for using for um, greenhouses for starting your garden seeds, which is another module we'll discuss later on when we get toward garden season. But they can still be used for greenhouse tops for um, either a six pack or an eight pack that doesn't have a greenhouse top. And we'll, again, we'll discuss that later on. I am gonna be saving these so that we can use them down the line. Now, so that's one great deal we got. We also, let me reach over here, got two, crinkly, <laughs> loud, two huge bags of green beans. See my green beans? There we go. <laughs> okay, two huge bags of green beans. These green beans, again, there were a few squishy ones in the bottom, but what I did was, you'll see, <laughs> you'll see a funny little green bean poking out the top here. I cut little slits and stuck them in the refrigerator because it was late in the day on Friday. Shabbat was coming. I knew we wouldn't be able to take care of them till today. So I slit those. I got two of those bags, see, two bags. And they were half price. These bags will be equal to eight to 10 of the Kroger um, 10 for $10 specials. So this is a great deal. So this is uh, for five bucks, we got eight to 10 bags so it's half price again. These are going, I'm going to actually dehydrate some of these um, and we will show those to you probably over the next couple days once they get done dehydrating. I'm also going to blanch them, the balance of them and put them in the freezer and I'll discuss those in a video as well. We have a lot to do and a lot of crinkling going on. Another thing I like is Kroger's here has an excellent spot where they put on discount produce. Um, the discount produce, this time we got um, a bunch of bananas. So we are going to get banana bread this week, maybe closer to Shabbat as a treat. And also we have our handy dandy bag of discount bananas. Guess where these are going? dehydrator. There's a couple of bruises on them. Um, one of them is actually a little bit shriveled, so it's already on its road to being dehydrated by itself. We'll be slicing those up and putting those in the dehydrator as well. And then while those dehydrate, I have an interesting thing here. This is my bowl of coffee grounds. I need some scouring powder. 
So one of the things that was really helpful for scouring powder is using your old coffee grounds. Works great, especially on stainless steel pans. Removes all the gunk on the inside. So you can dry that up. Those are my used coffee grounds. I think that's three or four pots worth in this bowl. Now, when dehydrating, and I hope you're taking notes because I'm giving you a lot of information here all of a sudden and all at once. Um, when you're dehydrating coffee grounds, you don't want your apples <laughs> to taste like the coffee grounds. So with my dehydrator, um, the vents are on the bottom. I will put these on um, parchment paper around the bottom of the dehydrator, not actually in my dehydrator. They will be near the dehydrator, so they will be getting the heat and the air flow. So they will dry that way but that they will go into a jar under my sink and whenever I need scouring powder, um, I think I actually have in the closet, I'm hoping I still have an old spice jar with a sprinkle lid on it. And if I do have that, when they're dry, they'll go in there and I can just sprinkle them whenever I need them and scrub my pots and pans. All right, so what else did we get this week? I have to check my list. Um, we did the bananas, the apples, the green beans, the salad. Oh, yes, <laughs> we're also going to be trying something new. I've not done these before, but I have a friend who did them and she loved them. We are going to do egg burritos um, and put them in the freezer. So I have tortillas that we got and lots of eggs on sale. We're going to mix those up with some jalapenos, some cheese and some potatoes, and we will be putting those in the freezer. And we're gonna try those out over the next week or two and see how they are coming out of the freezer. Now, if you know me well, you know, yes, there, oh, wait, where is it? There it is, uh, move my hand this way a little bit. There, <laughs> there we go, that's a microwave. Yes, we have one. It is built into our home. It was here when we got it in our house. Um, I don't use it except for sometimes boiling water, heating up my wheat heat pads that I have for um, when we need our heating pads. Um, once in a blue moon, I use a microwave for um, thawing like pumpkin puree if I've not, not gotten it out early enough to make my pumpkin bread or muffins. But I don't particularly care for microwaves. Um, I don't like them. They do damage food more so than other um, heating utensils. And if I step aside here, wrong direction. <laughs> I'll get used to this as we make more. If you look over here, this is our handy dandy toaster oven. I love it. It is wonderful. It has a convection setting and it works just like an air fryer. So it's doing the job of multiple um, appliances. A friend, a, a friend that we have, a couple of, uh, that we know from um, through ministry, they are so precious to us. They gifted that to us. And it is wonderful. I love it. It has actually done more work in our kitchen <laughs> in the last, um, well, how long have we owned it? About six or eight months. And it has done more work in that amount of time than my big oven has. Um, I love this. It cooks faster, it cooks nicer, it cooks crispier, it's wonderful. And we will do a review on that. Also, in the background, you'll see, let's see if I can get my thumb in the right spot. Right there, my dehydrator. <laughs> I don't own an expensive dehydrator. I never have. I've always enjoyed using inexpensive dehydrators. So what um, I'm going to do at some point in time, and I might do it with these apples even, um, I will review that dehydrator and how much I like it. I've already used it to dehydrate apples, cranberries, and something else that I cannot remember what, um, because I am trying to restock our pantry. In addition, I wanted to let you know that we are also going to be uploading a few of my old videos that I had done a couple of years ago. They do have a product line in them from a company that we used to market and we loved those products. There were a lot of them that we still will enjoy at some point in time. I don't actually, um, I'm not a representative of the company at this point in time. I don't make a profit from them. So if you see those, those products, I will let you know that those products are something that we will go over in time. I want to do a review of dehydrated foods versus uh, freeze-dried foods. So there's a lot coming up on the prepper portions. I wanna thank you for joining us for this moment because right now 
I'm going to get started on the apples and I will share that with you in a few minutes. Shalom.